Hi, this is Paula Bird, and I'm one of the violin instructors here at Texas State University, and I wanted to talk to you about the bow stroke martelet. This is um, a French word for the, the kind of bowing that we're going to do. In Italian, you sometimes see the word in Vivaldi concertos called martellato, and it means a hammered stroke. Some people confuse it with staccato, but there's a little bit more complexity to a martelet than there is a staccato. Staccato I think of as a very short, pin-pricky kind of a sound, like this. Very tiny bows, very tiny little space use of the bow. Um, martelet, though, is much more of a bigger stroke. And it has more of a punchy kind of a sound to it. And in order to practice it, there are certain ways of doing it. I know a lot of people think about making that nick, that initial pop in the bow by pressing down on it, but I think there's sometimes an easier way to do this. Um, my teacher at Texas State, or not Texas, um, Temple University in Philadelphia was Helen Qualwasser, and she studied with Galamium, and she had me practicing it this way, and this is the way I'm going to show you. It's a whole bow martelet. Now, we would never, ever play whole bow martelet, but it helps to teach us to relax. So martelet is going to be an initial nick, and then we would have this release happening in the bow where it would be completely relaxed and let your arm throw. Uh, and before I show you that exercise, I'm going to tell you about my experience as a karate student. We had to learn how to do knife hand throws. And they were trying to get us to learn to snap it and let it bounce back. And there were a lot of people that would go <clears throat> and try to make it into a two, two motion strike. Boom, boom. But what happens is their power was diffused by doing that. They had to learn to throw it as if they were taking a ball and throwing the pitch and letting it go. So in Martelet, we have to learn to just throw it and let your arm completely relax after you've thrown it. And then the ricochet that would come back in a knife hand throw, it just comes back. And the same thing will happen for Martelet. So here's how we practice it. We start down here, we make a nick, and then we let the bow just travel as fast as it can down to the tip. So I'm going to show it to you. And it doesn't matter if it bounces or if it slides off. It doesn't matter because the purpose right now in this exercise is to teach you to make a nick and to completely relax. So here's how we go. That was a pretty good one, actually, because it was so fast. Okay. And I'm not going for accuracy. I'm going for how my arm relaxed. Most of my students, the first time they try this, go like And as you can see the difference, they went very slowly and controlled it. But I want them to learn to go and completely let go after they've done it. And things to watch out for that make this hard, people do it too fast. And then they're not ready. Get ready, set, think, and then just do it. Get ready, think, and then just do it. Of course, up bows are going to be really easy. Anything up bow, bringing your hand in your mouth is very easy. But the down bow is a tricky one. Once you can do that down bow and up bow on a whole bow stroke, it's very simple to then play martelet at the half bow, which is the way we normally play it. See how I'm nicking and letting it go after that? So that's a simplistic explanation from Martelet. Um, and speed is the only other thing we'd have to correct for that. You sometimes will see this in Beethoven as carrots on the music, those carrot accents. Um, some kind of notes with a heavy accent, a sforzato, or just a heavy accent on the music. That's often used as a Martelet stroke. Some of those staccatos that are done when they're a forte or something would be where I would use a stroke like this.